Hey guys, it's Julian here with another anime review. And I'm gonna try a new way of life. I'm gonna be listless, like my master Tanaka. Now look who's doing all the anime references, huh? But I'm gonna let this one slide because I've usually been lazy in the reviews, so this time I'm gonna let you be lazy, if that's all right. So that means I'm gonna do this entire review from this chair. So let's take a look at Tanaka is always listless. So this anime doesn't particularly have an overarching storyline. So that means that at the end of a hard day's work, you can just pop it in and not have to worry about following a huge storyline and remembering what the characters are up to. This anime is super cute from its over-the-top characters and their personality to the lovely watercolor animation style. It's a calming and relaxing anime even with its music, so you will definitely feel at peace at watching this. Tanaka-kun is a great and lovable character because he always is trying to become more and more listless and it is phenomenal to see that his friends support him in his lifestyle choices. But there are times where his listless lifestyle is interrupted and he has to help his friends with their problems, even though he much rather not. And it's really funny to watch him try to balance helping his friends out and still being listless but above all else, he will always prioritize his listless ways. So, how's the anime review going? You know what, this review is going great. I feel so relaxed from here. You know what, I'm gonna just fall asleep wherever I am and how about you just carry me? That would just be great. You know what, I might just be able to carry you. But you know, the best part of the series is when Tanaka falls asleep wherever he is, and then his friend Ota just suddenly picks him up while he's asleep and just carries him off as if it's nobody's business. If that's not friendship, I don't know what is. I mean, I need a friend that supports me just like Ota supports Tanaka and his life choices. I need someone that will support my life choice, the choice of anime! The series as well is not without its cute girls, but sadly the guys in the series are just far too dense to understand their feelings. So as much as these girls are crushing on them, they sadly can't understand what these girls are thinking. But that doesn't mean there isn't some lighthearted romance and comedy to go along with it, making it a lovely series. Now I'm gonna try to return back to my listless ways and relax like Tanya. Oh yeah! It's time for Romance Corner, my favorite part of the re review! Alright, first up we have Ota and Etchison. These two childhood friends have known each other since childhood, hence childhood friends, and Etchison does clearly have feelings towards Ota, but being that tall person, of course, he's a blockhead and doesn't recognize these feelings. Etchison loves cute things and Ota just plays to that so well. Ota really likes sweet things and Etchison loves to bake. If they're a perfect match made in heaven, if only they could understand their feelings for one another. But their cute moments together really pull off to say that there is a spark between them. Now, I always save the best couples for last of a series, so we have obviously Tanaka-kun and Shiraishi. Now, it is actually in the series, Shirai, she does come out and say that she does love him, but obviously Tanaka doesn't quite get that. Come on, being listless gotta make you a little dense. You gotta shut down your uh, not so important functions, so love is not really needed in being listless. But anyway, Shirai, she is madly in love with Tanaka. Okay, I wouldn't say as madly, but more in a very cutesy way and she does daydream what it'd be like being together. Now, I know in the actual anime, Tanaka doesn't quite confess that he also has feelings towards her, so I usually don't do this and talk about the manga, but in the manga, he does say that she does smell nice, which in Japanese tropes means that Tanaka actually does return to his, her feelings and does actually like Shiraishi in a romantic way. 
but the series really only follows them throughout high school, so we actually don't know if they end up together. But Shiraishi does try to pick up where Ota leaves a big hole, because Ota really is that big figure for Tanaka carrying him around and taking care of him. Shiraishi does try to play into that and trying to take care of Tanaka. I hope that if we ever do get to see them in the future, Tanaka keeps his listless ways and Shiraishi is able to fill the shoes of Ota and they actually end up being a very cute couple. <sighs> you know what, I think I'm gonna rest my eyes for a bit. Did he just seriously fall asleep during the review? Well, I guess I gotta carry the rest of this review then. So you guys know what time it's for. It's the three reasons as to why you should be watching this series. All right, number one. It is super cute. I mean, from its nice simplistic art style to the cutesy faces to the cutesy characters. I mean, the whole series is just so darn kawaii. I mean, if you really like cute things, this is really up your alley. And even if it's not, I am sure you're fall, bound to fall in love with the characters just for their adorableness. Number two, it's family fun. Not many series are that I can say family friendly. And I mean, this series is just so lighthearted, so free spirited, and just so darn funny that it's bound to be enjoyed by the entire family and by all ages. So you don't need to worry about, oh, is there anything wrong with it? Does it have too much gore or anything? This series is just pure joy and entertainment. Number three, it is lighthearted. Like I said earlier, it is a lighthearted series. It doesn't get into too many deep issues. It doesn't go into too many backstory and problems. It's just all good fun. And even though Tanaka doesn't really want to deal with a lot of major issues, it plays really well to the series and can be enjoyed at any point because there's no large overarching plot to the series. You can pick up an episode after a long day of work and just relax and enjoy it without having to worry, crap, where did I leave off in the series or what happened last? You can just enjoy Tanaka and his listless life. <sighs> I must have dozed off there. You know, being listless is great and all, but I think I need to have more practice at it. Well, it looks like this review is over, so I hope you guys enjoyed this anime review, and I hope you guys see you guys in the next one. I think I'm gonna go uh, continue taking a nap now. See you guys next time.